Good afternoon and welcome. Let me just share this on over to my group here. Let's press there. I love that feature. So efficient. Hey, um, welcome. This is Sarah from Real Fitness with Sarah and this is my mini mindset coaching. I'm a little later than planned today. Um, ever have one of those weeks where nothing goes to plan? <laughs> I'm having one of those weeks. So um, I'm just here. So at least I can catch up with you maybe an hour later than I planned. So I have been setting aside five, 10 minutes or so every single day to talk to you about mindset um, and getting them, yourself in that right mindset um, and just giving you some advice about motivation, inspiration, mindset and all of those positive things that you need to be successful. This week, my topic has been vision and vision boards. And yesterday I spoke about vision boards, the purpose of them and, and what they can do to help you move forward. Today, I'm going to talk about the process, a six step process for you to start if you want to do a vision board. And I strongly, strongly encourage it. Mine is sitting here, it's in progress. And I'm gonna go through this six step process over the next few days and finish my vision board or make a good, make a good start on it, 80% finished so that I have something powerful that I can look at, look at and visualize every single day. Okay, so this is the process that you want to follow if you're planning to do a vision board. And as I said, I strongly encourage you to do this because it is so powerful. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to make a list of the goals you'd like to achieve. So sure, let's think about things that you want to achieve in the next year, maybe for 2021 or right at the beginning of the year. Um, maybe you can think about the goals that you want to achieve for the next five years, the next 10 years. There's no, um, no requirement, just whatever you see fit that you can visualize and see in your uh, short term, medium term, long term future, future, whatever you want to pick there is absolutely fine. So once you've got those list of goals, write them down so that you are specific. So what we want to do is when we're creating a vision board is to be fairly specific. There's no point in just putting random pictures and words on there that don't mean much. So it's got to be quite specific. So make sure your goals are strong and you know what they are and you know why you're doing those goals as well. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to go and search for some images. Now, back in the days, we might have had, you know, magazines around or we could, you know, pop to a charity shop and pick up a bag of magazines or old books and things like that that might fit our goal. Perhaps a little bit more difficult today, but we have this amazing thing called the internet. And definitely you can search for this. And um, I don't have an account yet. I'm going to create one today, but Pinterest is a great one. So I understand from my daughter that has lots of pictures of lots of different images that might fit your goal. So have a little look at that. And of course, the internet has a zillion things that you can pick and choose. So search around, set aside, you know, an hour or so or, or longer to do this. Okay, number three, so find those pictures that represent your goals and inspire you as well. So while you're searching around, maybe you've got that specific goal in your head, you might come across other things that might fit that as well. So print out um, those pictures if you can, or if you don't have a printer, then perhaps you can, you know, go back and look in some magazines. You can you know, pick up all different types of magazines nowadays. So pick up some magazines, things that inspire you. Maybe there's some old books and things that you might have lying around in your home as well that you can use. So you, you'll come across these pictures and you'll be like, yes, this is what I want in my life. And then, you know, cut it out, ready for your vision board. And maybe you're not going to use all of those pictures because my vision board's not particularly big. I think it's about two, three, two foot by about one and a half foot. So I'm not going to get a whole load of pictures on there. So you can sort of pick and choose which ones. Okay, point number four, make a collage out of your pictures. And here is your creativity. You can use that creativity to make you know, a lovely image on your board. And, and as I said, it doesn't have to be a huge board. It doesn't have to be something that you know, takes over your whole lounge or anything, but you can you know, just have a small board and just put some lovely pictures on there as well. Number five, use some motivational affirmation words that represent how you feel. So this is not just what you're looking at, it's how you feel as well. The feeling is absolutely key. How are you going to feel when you've achieved that goal? So you know, it can be full of joy, uh, abundance, powerful, fearless, loved, all of these things, strong. It's the feeling that gets, that really, really runs deep 
and that's what we want that feeling. Okay, and then number six, take moments every day to contemplate your vision board. And sure, it's gonna change a little bit. Goals might change or new pictures might pop up or new words might become important to you. So it's gonna change, it's gonna be like an evolving sort of project here. So you can use it that way as well. But take time, put it somewhere at where you are gonna see it every day. So there's no point in putting it into your spare bedroom if you only enter there once every six weeks or so. There's no point in doing that. So put it somewhere where you can see and you can look at it and you can visualize yourself feeling that way in that, that country if you wanna visit somewhere or in um, you know, a place where you wanna go or the way you wanna look. So just have it somewhere where you can see it every single day. Okay, hope that's helpful. Love to know how you're getting on with your vision boards. Do let me know and as mine sort of materializes over the next few days, I'll, sh I'll share some ideas on how I'm getting on as well. Okay, that's me over and out. Have a great rest of the afternoon. Get out there, find the sunshine, sunshine. Get out there into the sunshine, top up that vitamin D and all of that. Okay, have a great day, bye-bye.